Oh, fish. Yes, yes, yes. What is that? Is that a bass? Yeah. Bass. No, 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 giant. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the On The Line competition. Challenge number two, week number two. So we're getting into this a little bit. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos from all the creators. We got our challenge box over here. I'm about to open it up here in a minute and show you guys what we got going on for this week's challenge. I'm sure it's gonna be great. But first I wanna say I thank Low Boats, AFCO, and Guggen Squad for sponsoring this competition. We're having a blast doing this. I've got to know the other competitors a little bit better. Just an awesome group of people. We're just having so much fun. And of course, thanks to Catch Go for making all this happen. By the way, we got some new swag in the mail right there on the line. You gotta love it, you gotta love it. I'm loving this shirt, it's awesome. I got a link right in the top of the description, guys. I need y'all's help. Go vote for me in this competition. The audience plays a huge role in determining who wins the competition. I love you guys, appreciate y'all voting. And also, go check out the other content creators that's in the competition, but make sure to vote for your boy down there in the top of the description. I'm gonna go over here and show you guys what is in this week's box, read off the challenge card to you, that way you guys know what's getting ready to go on, and then I'm I'm going to tell you how we're putting a little twist on this challenge and also if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button down below love to have you guys be a part of the fishing with tate community we have a blast over here just doing all kinds of crazy stuff and of course drop a like on the video and leave me a big juicy comment down there in the comment section helps out the video a ton so with that said let's go over here and open the box see what's in this week's challenge all right y'all so here we are we're just going to open it right here on the hood of the car show you guys what is in this week's challenge so basically we have one hour to catch as many fish as we possibly can on these baits i'm gonna run through these baits super quick let you guys know what is in the box so we have the 10,000 fish sakoshi bug right there green pumpkin orange i don't know if that color will be great in here but that'll probably definitely get some action and then this is the 10,000 fish yodo worm love that bait then the Biospawn Exo Swim, three and a quarter inch. That should be perfect, green pearl. Then we have a Guggen Squad blooper. That should be okay. Then a Guggen Squad quick bait. Those are amazing. And then we have the Ketchco Bubonic Bugs square bill. That right there probably won't get much action in here. There's a ton of grass, probably not ideal. All right, so Zach has joined us here. What we're gonna do, so the challenge within this challenge is we're going to do the box that we got sent the week two challenge box versus the guggen squad mondo kill we picked this up at walmart yesterday and uh but there's only like four different baits there's also a hook in there but i'm going to give him some soft plastics to make up for the difference because i think i have six baits this i guess would be just five baits for you but giving him a trench hog and a bio spawn exo worm he's gonna get to use those as well and i'm gonna get to use everything in the carl's box what is on the line is a hundred dogecoin so for those of you that don't know dogecoin is basically a meme cryptocurrency that has gained some steam this year currently worth about 30 cents and if you don't care what dogecoin is it pretty much equals about 30 bucks right now unfortunately starting out with a zinger we got all kinds of wind going on back here i'm probably going to start out with a swim bait so we're going to get rigged up and get to fishing three two one go There we go. I started out with a bio spawn exo swim. We're just are we going numbers? Yeah. Uh, any fish counts? We probably should have figured this out. Let's go numbers. All fish count. Oh no, he's already got a fish. So he's already up on us. One to nothing. Caught a crappie on the spinner bait. There's one. Got one. Got one. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. He's on the boat. He's on the boat. On the bank, rather. On the bank. There we go. That was close. One to one, baby. One to one. There we go, baby. There we go. There are just some massive bluegill in here. All right, I think we may have forgotten to tell you guys what was actually in the Mondo box, but I think there is a mini banger, a zinger, some hammer hooks, and I think that's it. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Yes. There's number two, baby. <laughs> I'd really let this little guy eat it. He come out of nowhere. Ultra aggressive little dude. You got a big appetite, dude. There we go. All right, he's back. That's two. That's great. Like, I'm pretty sure I could start out with a Sakoshi bug and do great. Problem is, there's so much grass in here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Oh, I gotta eat. I gotta eat again. But... The Scotia bug would not be ideal. 
dragging it on the bottom. It just catch a bunch of grass. But I know I could probably still pick some off of it. But I'm gonna keep rolling with this. As long as they're gonna bite it, I gotta eat right then. Felt like a blue go by though. Oh, oh, I saw him come after it. I, oh no, oh no, come here, come here, come here. Where you at, bro? Oh no, oh no, there he is. Okay, cool. I saw him come after it and he didn't eat it at first, but I just left it still. Guys, that is three, I think the one, three to one right there. All right, we're, I think we're, I think we're gonna be okay. This Biospawn Exoswim is doing some damage. That's three fish. I think he's only caught one. Straight hammering them right now. We haven't been fishing for like not long at all. It's coming right up out of that grass. They're just hanging out in that grass. Number two. Oh no, he caught another one. Be nice to catch a good quality fish. But right now this is all about numbers. So we're gonna try to just put as many on the boards we possibly can. I got a one lead right now. There's another one, there's another one. That's a dink, that's a dink. Doesn't matter. Oh no, he come off. Dang up. By the way, this is electric fence right here. So if I happen to just let out a scream or something, don't be alarmed, I just got woke up a little bit. I'm dying to catch another one. I want a two fish lead on you. I know, I had one that came off. What did I do with my Carl's box? Oh, it's down there, okay. Thought you hid my box from me, I couldn't find it. All right, y'all, we're gonna have to make a move. I think go over here and see if they'll bite on this dam with a swim bait. Still two to three, still two to three, so we're good shape. But I would like to have a little bit better cushion than just one, one fish. Guys, there's currently 32 minutes left. We're about halfway through this challenge. Still three to two. It's got a little bit tougher. I'm not putting anything past this guy either. I mean, he's a doge fanatic. He'll do anything to get some doge. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him too. That's part of the challenge. I'm having to make sure he's not cheating or something over here while I'm trying to catch fish too. I'm telling you, he's a doge hungry psychopath. He'll do anything. Oh, it's a fish. Oh, okay, I didn't know he was on. Oh, don't, don't throw it, don't throw it. I didn't get a good hook set. Come here, dude. Come here, dude, get in the boat. Yes, sir. There we go, guys. Fish number four. Number four. Right, he's heading to the car now. He's making a switch. Let's just see what he does. I don't see how he could go weightless or anything because the wind is just yeeting right now. Yes, yes, yes. What is that? Is that a bass? Yeah. Bass. No, 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 no. Giant, giant gill, baby. Giant gill. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. We got to stop the challenge just for a second, okay? Absolutely massive. We got to get a weight on this guy really quick. My PB bluegill, easy. All right, guys, we're going to weigh this guy real quick. We're trying not to keep him out of the water too long. Pretty sure he's on a bed. He's got a bloody tail too. One pound, 0 0.06 ounces bluegill. Well, that's 1.06 pounds of bluegill right there, guys. That is my PB bluegill. I am so stoked right now. That is insane. Let's go ahead and get him back in the water. There he goes, guys. There he goes. Yeah, baby, let's go. I've never been so pumped about a bluegill in my entire life. We stopped the timer. Competition on high. I think I got six. Is that six? I weigh that's five yeah. or six. Okay, so I've took a pretty big lead on Zach, but 1.06 pound bluegill. What? That's insane. Let's get back to fishing, guys. Jeez. We got 23 minutes left, so it's 12.29. So here we go, starting now. Starting now. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm going back over here. I would kill to get back on another jumbo bluegill like that. So I'm pretty happy about how we're doing so far in the challenge in both of our challenges. So I'm, I'm beating Zach, honestly, pretty good right now. We probably have like 15 minutes left. So I'm gonna get a little froggy here. I'm gonna go with a topwater uh, blooper. We got plenty of cloud cover right now. We got a little calm cut right back in there. I'm gonna go back in there and hopefully slay with this, uh, this little popper here.
Guys, what a great video. What a great time that we've had out here. Well, especially. Mm -hmm. Especially me, you know, he's he's what? A hundred doge, a hundred doge lighter. My boy's a hundred doge lighter, I'm a hundred doge heavier. Great stuff. But nothing beats that absolute tank of a bluegill. Just a straight stud. We always have a great time. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and join along for the rest of our adventures. And also make sure to go vote for me. It's top link in the description. Go click that link, go vote for your boy. Of course, drop a like and a big old juicy comment down there in the comment section. Appreciate you guys for watching. Watching. Again, I want to thank AFCO, Lobos, and the Guggen Squad for sponsoring this competition and Catchco for choosing me to be a part of this. Just had so much fun with this. So that said, appreciate y'all for watching. As always, I'll see you next time on another episode of Fish One Take.